All right, how are you guys? Welcome po dito again, dito sa aming muting channel. Kamusta po kayong lahat? As sa buhay natin, alam naman natin na napakaraming paraan para tayo po ay maging isang successful. Kung hindi mga yon, kaya bukas o sa sunod pang mga araw, napakaraming paraan po. O nangungunan na po riyan, yung, ang taos pusong pananalig sa Diyos, ating pagsisikap, ano? Uh, patience, uh, pagiging uh, hardworking, ano? Napakarami pong paraan. And of course, napakarami din pong rason. Kaya bakit um, may ilan or marami din po sa ating mga kababayan na hindi po successful, successful sa buhay, ano? So sa video pong ito mga kapatid ay atin pong matutunghayan ang ilan sa mga dahilan or yung mga bad habits uh, na dapat nating i-drop kung gusto po nating uh, magtagumpay uh, sa ating buhay ano kapatid ka uh, kung bago ka po dito sa aking channel uh, kung iyo pong mamarapatin ay sana ay paki-like naman, paki-comment, paki-subscribe at i-click ang uh, notification button nang sa ganun ay mag-edited ka kapatid kapag ka may mga bago po akong uploads ano. So oo nga pala no. Uh, Paulit-ulit ko pong sinasabi na ako po ay isang uh, financial educator ano, nagtuturo po tayo sa ating mga kababayan no, maging nasa Pilipinas man or maging nasa abroad. Ah, uh, tinuturuan natin ng uh, kung bakit uh, gaano kahalaga yung pag-aaral lang financial literacy no Nag, uh, nagtuturo tayo ng uh, significance ng uh, financial literacy no sa pamagitan ng mga online at saka sa on-site na seminars ano tinuturo natin sila o ang ating mga kababayan uh, kung bakit uh, kailangang meron tayong uh, healthcare, life insurance, marunong tayong i-manage ang ating utang, uh, meron tayong emergency fund at of course meron tayong uh, taong nito meron tayong uh, investments so napakahalaga po nun guys uh, sa pagtuturo po ng uh, financial literacy ay, da, ay, ay pinapaalala or uh, ipinapaiwanag din natin kung bakit mahalagang paglaanan din natin ng pansin ano, ang ating maayos na retirement ano, pagkakaroon ng solid financial foundation ano, mind you kapatid Uh, kahit po uh, gaano kalaki yung ating kinikita kung wala po tayong alam or wala tayong pagsasanay or pag-aaral sa uh, financial literacy ay talagang maubos at maubos yun ng at maubos at maubos yung ating anong uh, kita no uh, provenant tested yan mga kapatid uh, saksi po ako diyan kasi ako po mismo inakaranas po talaga niyan no kumita tayo ng medyo malaki pero dahil wala tayong alam sa financial literacy Uh, it, turn out, it turns out nothing talaga no? so alam ko marami din sa ating mga babayan na nandito ngayon nanonood na ganun din po ang experience ano? so sana sa video pong ito kapatid ay kahit pa paano ay makakuha kayo ng mga kalaman ano? na pwede natin gamitin nang sa ganun ay uh, maging maayos pong ating kinabukasan na to Pag maging maayos pong ating kinabukasan ano So, sa buhay naman, kailangan lang natin ng mga knowledge, mga information siya, no? Nang sa ganun ay magagamit natin, ano? So, once again, sana uh, kahit pa paano sa napaka-exing uh, video na ito ay may mapulot kayong uh, punting kaalaman, ano? So, mga kapatid, salamat po again sa inyong patuloy na pagtangkilik sa aming channel. So, tara, uh, nang sa ganun ay malaman na natin kung ano-ano ba itong mga habits na ito na dapat nating bitawan nang sa ganoon ay tayo po ay maging successful sa buhay. So, let's watch this mga kapatid. Success, no doubt, means different things to different people. For some people, success is getting to the peak of the career. For others, it is the ability to afford whatever they need while for some others it is the ability to provide for their family. But in general, success can be seen as whatever gives you the feeling of accomplishment. Climbing to the top of the success ladder is quite tricky. However, remaining there is more laborious. Certain habits can hinder you from not just being successful but also staying successful. And in this video, I will be showing you nine of such bad habits that you must drop if you ever want to be successful and stay successful. 1. Reacting based on only emotions Have you ever looked back at a terrible decision you made and asked yourself 
What was I thinking? Well, chances are you acted solely on emotions. Emotions certainly play an essential role in influencing a person's choices. But then again, making your judgments and decisions based on your feelings alone can terminate your success. According to new studies, intense and comfortable emotions impair self-regulation skills and lead to making wrong and regrettable choices. Successful employees and entrepreneurs have high emotional quotient. To be successful, you must be able to balance emotion with reasons. You must be able to recognize and acknowledge every one of your feelings and weigh them in a scale of logical reasoning and facts before choosing the path to take. 2. Perfectionism Leo Tolstoy once said that if you look for perfection, you will never be content. While being a perfectionist can be a strength, it has its adverse effects. For one, a perfectionist finds it challenging to be a team player. An anonymous writer once wrote that perfection could not be attained because it varies from person to person. However, perfectionists desire flawlessness and assume that those around them will acknowledge their definition of perfect and heed to their set of standards. If you must achieve satisfaction, you must stop wasting so much time seeking perfection and accept that everything is not meant to be perfect. When you acknowledge things do not always go as planned and view mistakes as opportunities for improvement, then success can be achieved. 3. Avoiding Risks Often when people become successful, they feel so relaxed and stop taking risks. However, if you must remain at the peak, you must continually step out of your comfort zone and explore new chances. As you go through the ladder of success, you would need to increase your risk tolerance because it is only then that real rewards will come your way. According to inspirational speaker Robin Sharma, if you are not scared a lot, you are not doing very well. Even the most successful risk takers get scared of getting into new ventures. However, they do not allow their fears to stop them from taking risks. So, if you must succeed and remain successful, you must stop staying in your comfort zone and be willing to take up new chances. 4. Blame Game In life, making bad decisions is inevitable. But blaming others for those mistakes is an immature act. The worst thing about the blame game is that you may be playing it even without your knowledge. It is a habit that usually starts from when a person is young and goes into adulthood, when it is not noticed and handled. Blaming others is a mere defense mechanism that barely solves anything, except giving you a momentary greased ego. It blinds the blamer's eyes from reality and the need to take responsibility. If you must achieve success, you must as much as you can learn from your mistakes rather than blame others for every of your misfortune. 5. Overplanning Well, you heard me correctly. It is true that he who fails to plan plans to fail. But on the flip side, overplanning is a ditch that many people get into. The consequences of overplanning include discouragement, distrust, in and discontinuation of desired goals. Many times, people confuse having an overall plan with overplanning. While having an overall plan means creating tentative strategies to accomplish a set goal, overplanning, on the other hand, is the longing to have everything in place first before starting up. Successful people know that it is okay not to get it all figured out at the start, but those with a habit of overplanning want to get it all before they begin. And that is almost impossible. 6. Making assumptions Often when people are too lazy to seek for first-hand information, they dwell on presumptions. Although the effects of assumption may not be noticed at the time it was made, they have power over our success rate. Have you ever had the opportunity to take up a new position but you let it slide? The reason for passing those opportunities is likely because you assume that you are not smart enough to handle such a job. Many people see themselves as victims and always think that everyone is against them. Other base financial and professional decisions on assumptions. When you are stuck in your assumption bubble, you cannot see the way out and the end is always disastrous. 7. Ungratefulness Pride and arrogance always lie in wait for the successful and one easy way by which it is expressed is through ungratefulness. There is no way you can attain success without the impute of others. One terrible mistake you can ever do is to step on the foot that stood behind you and pushed you up when you had nothing. If you crave success, then you must always learn to appreciate people that have helped you in one way or the other. As the old saying goes, appreciation is an application for more. 
The more you appreciate life and the people in it, the more life gives you happiness and success. 8. Using the traditional Using the traditional silence means no response. No is one syllabic word made up of two small letters, but many humans would rather walk through burning coal than to say the words to others. Although our society have somewhat suggested that using a passive no approach through silence instead of giving a direct no. Nonetheless, it is mandatory that you learn to use the word as well. What you may not understand is that the effect of a passive no is often worse than what may follow after an outright no. Using the passive no especially to people in a higher rank than you depicts disrespect and lack of integrity. Successful individuals do not take to silent no's. They understand politely saying no is an honorable thing to do and it can open doors of opportunities. If you must stay successful, you must let go of the habit of the traditional no habit. 9. Never seeking help Gloria Macabago Arroyo once said that the power of one, if fearless and focused, is formidable, but the power of many working together is better. The idea of self-sufficiency is a significant impediment towards progress. One peculiar attitude among successful individuals is that they understand that there is strength in togetherness. So as much as they can, they attempt to build partnerships and long-term relationships. They surround themselves with other great minds and are not afraid or ashamed to seek for help when they are stuck. If you are of the habit of wanting to do it all by yourself, you should zero your mind from success because you're not omniscience and cannot do a thing alone. Take the advice of the Liverpool Football Club's slogan and never walk alone. Sometimes, through our actions, we intentionally or subconsciously impede rather than develop our success ability. One compelling quote by Petrarch goes thus, Man has no greater enemy than himself. If you must succeed, you must sort out these bad habits and cast them away.